What's up guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I hadn't got a video out since Christmas. And uh, I was wanting to upload a video. I wanted to share something with you guys. Uh, something I really hate to share because this, this kind of, it sucks. Heartbreaking, but um, if you've looked at any of my past few videos, you've noticed I did get a new locomotive. i done a couple a re two part review on it. And... Um, and then I ran it in a couple videos, I think. Uh, the new locomotive was the uh, Bowser Executive Line uh, Alco C630 with the uh, soundtrack Tsunami Sound. Um, really awesome uh, locomotive. Uh, the other day I was running it, and I was, I think, pulling some of those empty coal hoppers right there. And um, I noticed a really weird noise coming from the coal hoppers actually kind of they were shaking like I, I thought I had a wheel off wasn't it um I hooked up some uh, other rolling stock and it was doing the same thing so I took the locomotive over to the other side and I you know just ran it by itself and I muted the sound on it you know so I could hear it run well you know no noises or nothing it seems to have a really great drive and all that but it had a really weird vibration down low. It was, it was kind of like a shimmy or a shake at like a low to medium speed. So I've, uh, I've had to uh, kind of tear into it here and try to see if I can figure out what's going on with it. But I'm about to show you something that's... I hate to even show you this. I know most people, it, it was expensive locomotive. Most people would have probably just returned it. I may end up doing that if, you know, I can't figure out what it is. If I can pinpoint the uh, part that maybe needs replaced or, you know, it could be just something real simple. That's what I'm thinking. Because it still runs. I mean, I can put it on there now and, well, I can't right now. But, you know, it runs fine. It just does this. It has a vibration to it. So something's not right down there in, inside of it. Um, so, and I know my local hobby shop will take care of me if I need anything. Or if I need to take it back, I can. But... I'm going to go ahead and show you, show it to you. <laughs> uh, let's go over here to the table. Uh, and here it is. Yeah, it's in pieces. Yep. As you can see, uh, right here is the motor and flywheels that come out of it. I checked this out. There's nothing wrong, nothing wrong with the motor mount. I mean, everything was fine there. But that there that is the motor, can motor, and the flywheels. Um, whoops. There's the shafts. One of the shafts. There's the other one. Now, one thing I did do, they, they had these greased, in my opinion, way too heavily. I mean, they were just unreal greased, so I wiped a lot of the grease off. And that may have been the problem, too. I've, I've ran into that with brand new locomotives. For some reason, the manufacturers just... I don't know why, but they put way too much grease in them. Um, there's the other truck. The trucks are just kind of hanging there because, you know, see, just hanging there by the wires. Uh, it does give you a good look at the uh, Tsunami decoder here. Uh, let me see. Here's the uh, Tsunami sound decoder. Soundtracks. That's that. Here's one of the speakers. This actually has two speakers in it. I thought that's pretty cool. It's got twin speakers, but there's one of them there, and then the other one's still in its box right here. I didn't have to remove it. To get, I needed to get this weight off here, so it's still in the box. Uh, here's the surface mount LED for the rear. And then the uh, actually the front LED is actually up inside of the body. Whoops, let's see here. It's up in there, up under behind that brass plate right there. So you could do have to unhook the two wires from the board to get the shell completely off of it. And I may actually, since I've got this apart, and if I do, you know, figure out what what the problem is. Whoops, there's the fuel tank, air tanks, all that. There's one of the weights. Um. I may go ahead and weather this one, but I got—I want to make sure I get the problem figured out first. So, but I wanted to show you that, guys, and uh, have a good one.